We carry on with the presentation program up to Nikola Tesla Airport. It is time for something called Integrated Technical Security Solution for Internal Logistics Optimization in Utex Jalets. We call Mika Senchar, sales manager from Tensor, to join us for a 15 minutes presentation and a case study. Hi, Mika. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Are you ready? Hello, everyone. Hello from Tensor Group. As I was presented, I'm Miha Senchar, commercial manager of Tensor Group. And today, I will certainly not present our biggest project or our, let's say, most valuable. But I think it's very interesting since it combines technical security and logistics. So, Utec Jalets, sorry. Uh, Utec Jalets is a company in Slovenia, but first of all, a bit, a bit about Tensor Group. We are based in Slovenia, but we also have companies in other countries, Croatia, Serbia, Albania, and Macedonia. And this year, actually in three weeks, it will be 25 years of our existence. Today, we are more than 90 people, and we are purely t technical integrator. Not only technical security, but a bit broader integrator. We do integration in technical security sector, building management, ITS, so intelligent traffic systems, and also hospitality and leisure. What gives us a bit of an edge on, on the projects that are more complex is that we have our own R&D department for many years. And this R&D department developed quite some interesting hardware and software solutions. So. Regarding the project and the case, Utec Jalets company that does PVC flooring, it's part of the Belgian group. And as you see on the right hand side, they have a quite large industrial site. Now, what was the problem there? The problem was not only on technical security part, as I told you, it was the whole, the whole logistic, internal logistic process, so courtyard logistic as we call it, was very complex. I hope you see well, there on the bottom, there is one small parking lot number one. So trucks were arriving at this parking lot and they had to stop at the ramp, call the interphone that they will let in. Then they had to walk to the building number three, get the documents, and when they set the, the documents, they had to go back to the car, to the truck, drive all around on the yellow road, and enter the blue dot, where is the transport entrance. Then they went to building number four, where they loaded the truck, went beside the building number five, go again in the building number three to get the sales documents and customs documents ready, go to the red dot, this is the main entrance, where the doorman let them out if all the documents were okay. At the same time, employees, management, were entering on the red dot, this is the main entrance, and also the service cars, and also the delivery of materials were entering that way. Everything controlled by a human. So what they wanted, and what were these first problems? First of all, the technical security systems were old. So this has to be refurbished. They saw that they have really uncontrolled flow of people and of vehicles. They didn't know in what phase vehicles are at the current time in their big industrial site. And the third one was the waiting times. Because information flow was bad and trucks were waiting. So, and time is money, of course. What were their goals? First of all, the automatization of the whole process. Removing of human factor and putting a doorman on a position inside of the company that can bring, let's say, more value. This was very important. Full lock and control of vehicles moving in, out, and inside of the premises. The third goal, this was actually the most important one to solve, was to have a faster and automated communication between vehicle status inside of this process that I explained. Limiting and control of visitor access, this is, let's say, a normal one. And at the end, since you have some, so many events happening, to have faster search time when you actually have to go and find these events. What was of crucial point for them is that one partner, one company does it all. 
This means the solution development, which lasts some time. You have to really understand the process of the client and then to prepare a solution, to prepare an offer, make a project design, do the cabling, turnkey solution with installation and of course good maintenance. For us, this is let's say a, pro a problem or a, or a project where we have exactly what we need to cover this kind of demands. So our platform called EIMS, this is Industrial Event Management System, is connecting all the different devices into one software so that we lower the inventory uh, loss risk and we actually optimize this flow of cars and trucks inside of the company. We actually create an IoT system, not connecting only technical security devices, but sensorics, uh, ramps, doors, signals from whichever system is needed to provide and to achieve the goals. Where are the challenges? I would say the biggest and number one is change management. Because when you do a logistic solution, you have to improve the processes. And people don't usually really like to change a lot. That was the first challenge. The second challenge with such projects is that there is always some construction work, which again, clients don't really like to do. And the third is trust. So we are a company based in Slovenia providing our own software solution to a, let's say, part of the global player. And if they choose us, can someone else service this solution? And it becomes a crucial part of their processes. So these were the challenges which we have to overcome in the whole pre-sales and sales process. I will not use a lot of time on hardware. What we use, we use our plate recognition cameras, Callisto branded IP cameras, and server-based uh, NVR, Kaba full head turnstiles, 2N intercoms, Contact, Paradox for burglary, and server platform from HP. What is, oh, this is how it looks like, the main entrance. And also on the right hand picture, you can see where we had to do the construction work later. Uh, the truck, as you can see, doesn't come really neatly on the exit. So we had to remove part of that pavement. Kaba full head turnstile for people access, intercoms, CCTV part. So nothing special. What really matters is the software. So which functionalities we had to implement to overcome and achieve those goals? First of all, to save some time on searching the events, we had to automatically correlate the video footage for each event they wanted. So opening the barrier, opening the doors. For us, they could even say if some click in the ERP would be done and the camera is covering that, we could actually, actually do that. So then we had to define the rights per of, of access of the vehicles per type of the vehicle. Some are service vehicles and those, for example, some of them can enter even in the night because there is some crucial part uh, not, not working. Uh, we had to control of the process in three different spots. First is the reception, the sales, and also the warehouse. They had to have a special view in terms of what they can do or cannot do in this whole process. And uh, they wanted that our software covers all of the logs and events from any subsystems. Our software is not trying to be a new NVR or trying to be a new access control. We are actually overlaying the structure to just to collect the data and to show it in such a way that they can decide easier. Opa. Something jumped, sorry. So our software is actually 80, sometimes even 90% prepared for any such logistic problem. The last 10%, 15%, are done only to get to the exact process of a client. Uh, therefore, we can be really effective. So it's not that we develop a software from the scratch all the time. New process, how it looks now. So the truck enters to the ramp number on the parking lot number one. It's automatically opened. Re registration plate is put into the system. They still have to walk, unfortunately. Maybe later we can automize also that. They walk to the building number three get the paper set and the salesperson there 
gives this plate access rights to the back entrance. So, and of course, also the access right that they not access but e exit the uh, parking number one. They go, they load, and when the loading is done, in warehouse, in their control view, they set that loading is done. So now we also covered that part that they control the process. When loading is done, they still have to go to the sales, and when the papers for customs are ready, the plate gives an exit permission on the main entrance. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we cover that part for the main entrance. Of course, also everything is done by plate. And here vehicles are more, more or less whitelisted. They are put on a whitelist. The time of wh when they can enter or exit is defined. So everything is controlled and locked. Which models we had to use in our software, it's totally modular. First of all, first three modules, integration framework, the access control and event management, this is basic. So this is always standard and we don't need to change anything. What we have to change is the control modules and we have to change the reporting module based on what client actually wanted. And this is the look into the software. So on the left hand side, you can see the part where we define rights for access. And on the right hand side, we have the em event management model where we collect all of the different events that client actually wanted. And as you see, GDPR, nothing is seen, yeah? So no problems here. At the event management model, uh, on the bottom right, you see the part where we actually take the footage of the CCTV and put it away from the recording server. Because here only these parts that matter to the client are taken and they can easily search this in later stages with very, very advanced filtering and search module. Also, all of the events can be classified. So they can say, alarm, problem, okay. And then later, reporting is done automatically. And this is one of the control modules. This is the view how the sales sees it. The ramps, the barriers, everything is controlled from this module. No remotes anymore, only mobile. But on mobile, we also lock who actually opened or did something. As you can see on the right-hand side, all of the ramps on these premises are controlled here by clicks. So we exactly know who opened it. And if it would be opened manually, we would know. We would set this as an alarm. And on the left-hand side, there is always the vehicle status of all the vehicles inside the premises or in the first parking lot. So to conclude, what we believe and what we saw here is that actually we can really, really add good value to technical security equipment as such, but you need a good software that can cover the process part. Our opinion is that it's very hard or very expensive to cover these kind of complex processes with some off-shelf solution, because you really have to go deep into the process. And there we believe it was actually a reason why at the end we did this implementation. And what is also very important is the trust I mentioned. So you really have to show any pre-sales that they can rely on you for next 10, maybe 15 years. Because they are, you are entering the process and they want it to work at all time. Thank you very much. This is from my side. If you have any questions, please come to our stand or just write me. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Two minutes shorter. <laughs>